All right, guys, uh, welcome to episode one of season two of the Progress Podcast. Hope you're all well. Um, to kick things off, um, as we did in series one, uh, I've got one of my friends uh, to come and talk about something that is very, very um, close to them uh, and I think should be close to a lot of people as well. Um, Liz, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm, I'm great. Good, I'm good. It's, fr- it's Friday. It's the weekend. You know, it's... Uh, there's, uh, there's there's lots to be looking forward to. Um, yeah. Now, obviously, we've we've worked together for on and off for three, four, five years. I think I can't remember when we first met. But um, you recently launched. I think. Well, I think recently anyway. You launched um, a new Instagram account um, based around. I would say your body positivity journey that you've been on. Um, yeah. Do you want to kind of? fill people in on, on, on sort of on what led you to to start that yeah so what it was is as you know like last year I went through a little bit of a break up and my self-confidence was shattered literally yeah it was gone um and then it was just a case of I've always been interested in it and I've always wanted to get that side of me going again yeah. before, before I got in the relationship I was very outgoing and didn't really care so I just wanted to get that side back and I thought the best way to do it is to lose weight and I was struggling and struggling and I thought you know what it is I don't care I'm just going to go with me and how I am so yeah it started at around yeah. about October that's when I started to build my confidence back up last year and then it was January this year that's when I started the Instagram I mean it's steadily grown um sometimes it'll blow sometimes it's, it's just steady but to be honest, I'm shocked I've got as many followers now. <laughs> I thought I would only get like what, one or two hundred. What, what shocked you? What What is it that, that we you um, expecting that? No, 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 any of it. I wasn't expecting half, not even half. I said to my friend, I was like, no, I think I'll only get one or two. And it's just yeah. for me to be me, really. And I've got my other Instagram, which is like personal and private. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that one, it was just like, just for me to just let go and get loose it's not get loose but you know what I mean just yeah, let yeah. all the inhibitions go sort of thing and just give myself that little bit of confidence and then from then it just rolled it was just yeah. kept going I think I got about 500 followers in the first two three weeks and it was like wow. oh, god yeah <laughs> um, how did that happen now, <laughs> now you, you mentioned something there about you sort of your idea of, of wanting to lose weight and stuff like this and I mm-hmm. think there's a bit of a as I was saying before uh, there's a bit of a gray area when it comes to, to body yeah. positivity now I'd read a, a, a BBC article the other day saying that there's a, a debate and a bit of a conversation going on about some people think that the whole body positivity movement is about um, establishing bad habits and it's re- it reinforces the 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 sort of it's okay to be unhealthy and overweight and all this type of stuff uh and disclaimer yeah. I, I am that person so this isn't me on me high horse and being hypocritical no. do you know what i mean but like, I, I, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not the healthiest person in the world and i've had mm-hmm. which is why i was keen to do this i've had a very up and down relationship with do i be thin do i just be happy or whatever so there's this that's one side of the bit then there's the other that is, is a self-acceptance conversation Mm -hmm. you know so you've got these two things of is it just giving people an excuse to be unhealthy or or is it a really positive movement um of self-acceptance and uh and not letting your physical appearance affect you and get you down i'm assuming that the second part of that is you you know you want to to accept yourself for who you are and not let it affect your confidence what was the process of you starting this journey was it just I woke up one day and I'm going to do this and that's it and I'm done or was it a stop start thing how did that go so I'd been thinking about it and I'd been joking about it and I was like I'm going to do this Instagram because there's loads of people that I follow um on my personal account that was like body positive and body positive is not just about being um plus size or anything it's about accepting your flaws well they're not even flaws it's accepting who you are you've got girls that are slim that are trying to be body positive because they want to gain the weight and they want to have that hourglass figure but then you've got plus size girls that are just wanting to just be who they are and yeah if I want to wear that clothes I'll wear them it's got nothing to do with anyone else sort of thing that's how I see body positive I'll kind of I'll throw a spanner in the works here right so Mm -hmm. you're saying 
it's I'm one hundred and ten percent behind you in what you're doing. I know you know I I, I agree with mm-hmm. what you're doing, but you say that it's just for you. Doesn't matter what I wear. If that's the case, then why do you think there is such a, a focus on people sharing it with other people? If it is such a this yeah. is just for me type of thing, why mm-hmm. do then people share that kind of thing online? Do you think? The reason being is that if I, I can only go off my personal experience, but if I hadn't seen these girls do it on Instagram, then I wouldn't yeah. have ever had the comfort, confidence to do it because the way that the media portrays plus size people is that the the discussed and unhealthy when sometimes it's not the case at all. It's yeah. a big and medical conditions that cause people to be yeah. overweight. Um, I mean, myself, I've tried every diet under the sun. I get to a certain point and then I can't lose any more. And I mean, I thought the breakup yeah. light was going to work, but that <laughs> didn't even work. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, so it's just a case and it's not promoting the fact of being unhealthy because I'm going to be joining the gym, but it's not to yeah. lose weight. It's just to make sure my heart's healthy and I'm yeah. healthy in, in myself. But my focus isn't to lose weight, it's to get a bigger ass, to be fair. <laughs> 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 um but and again i, I think if you, you you touch on something there that i think is um is really important that knowledge as well i think there's been a, a, an increase in people looking to address themselves whether it's mentally physically whatever during lockdown during the whole 12 months that we've had with, yeah. with covid obviously gyms haven't been available and you know people for whatever reason haven't felt the the ability to go out and exercise and all that type of stuff mm-hmm. um how much of a of an impact is is sort of COVID and uh, and, and the, the pandemic and all the restrictions and stuff had on on you sort of mentally and has that sort of given you a little bit more of a of a, a focus to want to address your mental health and in, in, in the way that you approach your yourself? Yeah, it's massively. I mean, I went through a break. Well, I keep referring back to it, but it was a massive part of my life last year with COVID. I went through that breakup yeah. and I went through that during the first lockdown and. It was just it was so hard in my mental health. I'm like, it did take a massive drop. Yeah. And that's why I thought, what and I thought in my head is if I lose weight, that's it. I'm going to feel a hundred times better. But then when yeah. I took that pressure off myself to not lose weight and just, all right, accept who I am, yeah. I feel I feel like the best I've felt in years, to be completely honest. Yeah. I feel great. I think that when you're seeing all these little posts on, and I know the memes and I get that the funny, but about, does anyone know how to lose 10 stone by June the 21st? The last year we've had, like, just, does anyone really give a fuck? I just want to get out and get the pub. (laughs) Well, to be honest, like, that's that's the thing. And people people will say, like, oh, life's too short and all this type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you really want to be one of those people that spent, all of their life and all of their time and money on just the perfect figure or what, at least what the media and social media deems mm-hmm. to be the perfect figure. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, you, you drop down dead tomorrow and what have you done with your life? You've spent it in a gym and on loads of fad diets and meat. What if, what, what, do you want to, and, and I realize you can do both. You can still have yeah. a fulfilled life and look after yourself. Of course. But, there's an argument for saying, well, life's too short. Do you know what I mean? And obviously, that's what, what you're saying there is, I just want to get to the pub. I want to see my friends. I want to be social mm-hmm. and and have a life. The mental health conversation is so, so deep and could go on for days. Mm-hmm. I think on, on a very top-level sort of basis, I think being positive about your body and accepting is the start of sorting all that out. Because I could mm-hmm. quite imagine, and you know, correct us if I'm wrong, I could quite imagine that once you've sort of accepted where you are, your confidence go, you know, grows, your mm-hmm. mental health improves. Yeah. And then if you did want to then go to the gym and start looking after yourself, then mm-hmm. you're in a much better place to do that mm-hmm. as opposed to like the opposite you know the alternative you're feeling shit about yourself you're feeling shit about everything you're not going to be motivated to go to the gym or look after yourself mm-hmm. so when you weigh the two up i think the whole the, the body positive approach is you know it's it can only be positive you know what i mean like it's yeah. only, it can only be a positive thing um if somebody was looking to be more positive about themselves mm-hmm. um what would you say is a good place to start Oh, God, just 
if you want, the way I look at it is, when I first started, is if I, I used to buy clothes and I used to buy clothes that would be baggy, that would cover all my lumps and bumps and just cover us up. <clears throat> and I didn't like them, let's be honest. Yeah. No one, no one. And then I thought, I want them pair of jeans, I'm going to buy them. And I never thought, I would never have bought them pair of jeans before because yeah. I thought I was too big to wear them. And then when I put them on, got the right size that because I would always say I was I'm not that size I'm not getting that size and it'd always be too tight and I say I'm not wearing them and send them back but then when I got the right size put them on I thought nah I look good <laughs> and not being big-headed mm. about it but I feel all right yeah I do suit them and I do look good so just go with the flow it don't put pressure on yourself to think I've got to be like that person and I've got to be to do that quickly and I've got to get to this stage because it took me from really October till January and I was only sat in the house ill with COVID that made us start yeah. it and that's what I'd only took us that amount of time but it was the confidence of people once you do start to let yourself not let yourself go but just stop having them barriers yeah. then you do feel a lot better and then people will see your confidence shown like the amount of people that said to me I can't believe how good you look now I can't yeah. believe how how you look and you look amazing. And I've not lost weight. If anything, I've probably gained. But that's the way I would go with it. Just go with what you feel. If you want to buy that top, get it. If you don't like it, send yeah. it back. There's a yeah. girl that I speak to on Instagram and she was like, I wish I had the confidence to buy the clothes that you buy. And I was like, why? Just buy them if you don't like them. <laughs> There's no harm sending them back if you don't yeah. if you think I don't want to wear them. Yeah. You don't have to wear them out. No one's saying keep them. Do you find um, that, and I know obviously on Instagram, you've got a, a very supportive core network of friends that you've had for years. Yeah. Have you found much of it that you've had many messages from people outside of that, like total strangers message you on Instagram? Yeah, yeah, I have. And it's, I had a message the other day off a girl, and this just made a sense. I need to continue doing this. Yeah. Um, a girl messages saying, I, I totally applaud you. Like, I wish I can't wait till I'm where you are and how you feel. And I think compared to other people on Instagram, I'm nowhere near as confident, confident as I want to be. Mm. So if I've got that impact on her now, when I'm getting more, building my confidence more, what impact am I going to have on so many other people to say that they can do it? Do you know yeah. what I mean? Even people that I talk to, they're like, oh, I'm, in, I'm, gonna, I'm wanting to lose weight. And I'm like, well, why? The more pressure you put on yourself to lose weight, you're not going to lose it. Believers have been there, done that, got 25 badges yeah. and T-shirts. It's bang on. on what you say. Like, you know, there's be, I, I'll, I'll openly admit that I've, I'm one of these people, and I know uh, <laughs> one of our mutual friends, James Palmer, is exactly the same. Um, <laughs> you know, he, he's a very, right, I'm just, I'm going to, it's the weekend, I'm going to do whatever, but Monday mm-hmm. morning, I'm cracking on, and I'm going to, st- you know, and it, it puts so much pressure on you that when you wake up on Monday morning and if you don't feel like it, mm-hmm. like, oh, I failed. And it, then the whole negative thing comes in and it's like, what? You know, it, all right, okay. Mm-hmm. And then you reach for the comfort foods and you choose not to go to the gym versus sit on the sofa and all this type of stuff. And I think it, there, there is such a, a pressure that mm-hmm. people put on themselves that, when the don't or when the fall at the first hurdle in their eyes, when the fall at the first hurdle, I'm I'm a complete failure. And then that yeah. just it's just one big cycle of like, oh I can't be bothered. I want to reach for I want to get a takeaway. Uh, and then it just it just it, it festers and becomes really toxic. Whereas mm-hmm. if as you say you've got that approach of so now it is if I want to get a takeaway, I want to get a takeaway. Like if mm-hmm. as long as you're doing things that are keeping you medically healthy you know like mm-hmm. your heart's fine you don't smoke and all that type of stuff well <laughs> that yeah 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 you're responsible and you're doing the right sort of things then if you mm-hmm. want to have a, two takeaways in a row you can if you want to lie on the sofa all weekend you can you know and the the confidence in the in the positive feelings and emotions that come from that will mm-hmm. kind of you'll get there you'll you, you will reach a point where you'll go you'll go like all right i want to do something about it now and mm-hmm. it's not such a, a, a um a pass or fail type of thing like if i don't get up yeah. on the morning enough i fucking have failed you know what i mean mm-hmm. um so you've got the instagram you know you're reaching out to people they're reaching out to you what or where do you see the instagram going where do you see your journey going next you say once you get a bit more confident like what mm-hmm. does that look like for you 
with me, it's not, I would never post a bikini picture or anything like that. And I think the more that I want to do that, I would never actually buy a bikini. I think I, I wanted to start swimming and I never went because I was too scared to take my clothes off and go swimming. Yeah. So the more I want to just buy clothes, like the dresses that I want to wear that are short that I would never get. I just want to be, once I get along that journey and get over them hurdles, I mean, coming on here today has been a massive, massive step because I would never have done anything like this ever. Um, then these are the little hurdles that are pushing myself out my comfort yeah. zone with things. And, but I've got the opportunity to know myself and say, mm, I'm not ready to do that. I'm going to hold off and yeah. do it. There's loads of photos that I've taken. I'm thinking, oh, am I going to post that yet? No, I'm going to put yeah. wait. And then I'm getting to them points where I'm thinking, right, I'm going to post this photo and I'm going to post that photo. Because yeah. everyone takes loads of photos at one time with Instagram. And it's not something that everyone wears every day. It's too yeah. much hard work. I tried to do that in the beginning. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's a nightmare. I mean, I, when, do you know what it is? When you, when you, you see some of the... Um... And those who are on, on Instagram will, will will be able to testify this. When you see some of the, the you know, that you've got the really top of the game body positive um, ambassadors and, and, and activists and stuff, like they have got millions of followers and they have put mm-hmm. so much work into, you know, proper photo shoots and all that type. Mm-hmm. Like it, it, it can be quite like a monster to sort of to yeah. um, physically and emotionally, I'd imagine. Mm-hmm. So, I think the fact that you're self-aware enough to kind of go at your own pace yeah. rather than be, do what I imagine a lot of people do on Instagram where you go, oh, right, this is great. I'm getting loads of attention and all. let's, let's just go hell for leather. Mm-hmm. And you start to sort of lose a bit of, not credibility, but you, your message isn't as powerful as, yeah. you know, going at your own pace every couple of weeks or whatever, putting a, a really well thought out, meaningful post. Mm-hmm rather than just like, you know, left, right yeah. and centre, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. But I think, uh, I, I, I've said this to you before, I, I applaud you for what you're doing. Like it's it's helped me and I know that there's, there's, there's probably like an unspoken rule or some sort of thing whereby a man shouldn't really take body confidence advice or motivation or inspiration from a woman. It's weird, but the mm-hmm. concept doesn't really have like a gender, do you know what I mean? So it's it's more yeah. about, as you say, being accepting of this. And I think I'm kind of getting there. Um, mm-hmm. but I'm one of those people that I'll not take my top off. Absolutely not. Like yeah. ask me ask my wife. Like when we first got together, I'd be should be like trying to take my top off. And I'm like, no, leave it. No. Leave it. <laughs> Don't take off. it off. Turn the light <laughs> off, please. Just leave it off. Um you know and and, and it took a while for for me to sort of trust her when she was saying, "Just take that top off, man." Oh, yeah, and this, yeah, honestly, right? We've been we've been together for two thousand nine. When did we? Well, we're now 20, 11, 12, be twelve years this year. Um, and there'll be sometimes where, like, I can probably count on one hand how many times I've taken my top off, and walked downstairs, and just sat on the sofa. And yeah. like, she'll look at us and she'll be, she'll be like, "What's wrong with you? What's like, what, what's the matter?" <laughs> I'm like, are you hot? <laughs> just, I just felt like it. She was like, oh mm-hmm. well, I'm not complaining, you know. Mm-hmm, and, but yeah. like, it, it, it's, and it's things like that that help me overcome my issues with with my mm-hmm. own body. Um, facially, I think I'm all right. Like, I, I'm getting there. Like the, but again, things like if I don't, if if I, I'm really struggling to grow this beard quite quickly, like there's still mm-hmm. patchy bits, and I, I I sort of attach so many of my insecurities to this yeah. and if this doesn't look right then i'm like oh i'm less of a man and i'm not really confident or whatever yeah but you know and I'm, I'm talking but yeah. i shouldn't like it's i know no, no, i get you it, I, 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 I would tut i do tut i tut to myself all the time <laughs> do you know what i mean i'm a tutter i'm yeah. a self tutter like I'll, I'll look at myself and i'll think like oh you can't wear that you look like a clip and i'm getting used to now going so what who gives a monkey's like exactly no one even bothers like do you know what i mean no one cares like yeah go to wear what you want there's so many men body positive instagrams as well and you don't even realize i didn't realize how many there was i think i think that's i'm probably one of those people that for although i'm on social media all the time like i've still got some sort of old-fashioned 
view yeah. on that type of thing. Like men shouldn't talk about the feelings. Men shouldn't talk about all the, you know, a man's mm-hmm. a man, you've got to have a beard and all that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so for me, I'm, I'm still trying to get my head around the fact that, well, for one, like I can look at, at your Instagram and be like, do you know what it's fuck well played? Fuck, yes, we, we should all be more put, but I'm probably not as far on in the journey as you are. And mm-hmm. so for me, it's still a bit awkward. It's still a bit like, hmm, mm-hmm. sh- yeah. You know? um, but for, for me, that that's the goal for me. I mean, I'm, I, I wouldn't go as far as documenting it like you have. Um, mm-hmm. That's like proper ballsy. Um, <laughs> but it's not I, really. I, I, well, it, it, do you know what it, like, it, it is? I mean, don't get us wrong. I know people put a load of shit on social media. They mm. do. But, like, yours is meaningful. It's attached to an actual, like, journey. You know, you're, you're, you're doing it for the right reasons. People put a load of shit on social media for no reason at all. And you've got conviction behind what you're doing. I don't think I mm. quite would have that. So I think yeah. I'd be doing it for, for the wrong reasons. But, like just the little things that I've noticed that you've done where you've just like, you've worn certain things and been like feeling this today. And it, you know, I feel like it was because how old are you, Phil? 34, Sorry. 34, 34. 34. Yes. 34. Yes. Yeah, so I'm, tw- I'm 29 coming up. So you are a little bit older, but it's not like we're still Thanks. our era. No, you don't look big. <laughs> No, but our era is completely different to the era that is now. Like, when we were growing up, none of these body positives were kicking about. Nothing. Like, there's no movement. People would have laughed at you if you'd said body positive. What are you talking about? When we we were younger, like, wouldn't I remember? I remember I used to get them called fat. All sorts. Like, everyone, I've had it. I've been bullied. I was bullied at the age of 19 by people that were meant to be my friends behind my back. Do you know what I mean? And then when I first started, then were the people I was worrying about because my communities where I live so close knit and I've lived yeah. here all my life, me mum and dad have. So everyone, I'm not saying everyone in the community knows who I am, but the majority know who I am. And that was what scared me. I was like, oh my God, if they get a hold of this, if I put this on and they get a hold of it, what, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. going to be spread round and blah, blah, blah. But to be fair, now I just think, oh, so what? Take it. What, what's yeah. the worst that you can do? Call us fat. Yeah. Mm, sure, Cora, I know. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. squat. To, so that's to be honest, I look though, at it. In, in, one thing that I'd, I'd seen online the other week, um, which I think just perfectly sums thing up, things up, is if somebody, if the only thing that somebody has got to throw at you is your appearance, then you're doing everything else yeah. spot on. Mm-hmm. You know, like exactly. I used to get called names and like I still do. And if my appearance is on the only thing that they've got mm-hmm. to call us on, then I'm now learning to take a little bit of confidence and saying, well, you know what it is? I must be an Irish person. If the only thing you've got to, to go on is the state of mm-hmm. my beard or the size of my heart or whatever it might be. Do you know oh, what I, mean? I wish mine was bigger. This is a this is the thing. This you this is stemming back from you've got to have the perfect hourglass figure and have the big form yeah, yeah. and the tiny waist and the, the big boobs. That's where it all comes from. So I still have got that mentality in my head, but I just don't want to yeah. lose me to me either. I just want to be in all just has, round. I just has, want to be a ball. <laughs> <laughs> have you found that you're starting to shake off those tra- traditional stereotypical views of what a woman should be? Yeah, like even my mum will go, oh, I just want to lose weight. And I go, well, what for? I start to say, well, well, why? And I go, yeah. the more you accept yourself, the more you'll look good no matter what you wear. I just want to wear jeans and a nice top. I went, wear jeans and a nice top. Yeah, yeah. What's you? So that's probably this- bringing her around to the idea of it more as yeah. well. Do you, do you think that's a that's a, a generation? Well, I suppose you've you already said that's a generational thing. Like my mother in law, she's exactly the same. Like she's so thin. Well, again, even I even using words like thin, it's just it makes the problem worse. I think. Mm-hmm. But like she is healthy. She runs. She walks. You know, she goes to the gym when when she can. Um, you know, she goes dog walking and stuff. So I think medically, she's. <laughs> so I thought you were going to say dog in there. I thought you were going to say sports dog in. Like, but my mother-in-law does it the weekends <laughs> is up to her. Um, but uh, uh sorry, Trudy. Um <laughs> but, <laughs> um 
but not and, and she uh, medically is probably very healthy but is very healthy mm-hmm. um but she's constantly got this this thing that she oh she has to watch what she's eating and you know she, if she has a chinese she'll oh, oh i'm back, back monday i'm back on it and she'll go oh i'm, I'm gonna die and i'm like what on earth constantly got this in her head that she needs to be a certain way and it's mm-hmm. just like no be yourself just be if you're if you can be happy and i know by saying Mm -hmm. if you are happy because some people aren't happy but if you could learn Mm -hmm. to love yourself and 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 be sort of happy with yourself and 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 accept yourself then it's just the 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 positive things to come are just so Mm -hmm. the fruit do you know what i mean like there's loads of things that you'll be able to Mm -hmm. enjoy more buying clothes as you say you're not limited um as opposed to like almost imprisoning yourself in this idea that I've got to be a certain way. And if I'm not, I'm shit or I'm, I failed mm-hmm. or I'm ugly. Or I'm... And I think that's one of the things that I struggle with and something that mm-hmm. I'm massively having to work on is I can see in others and I can say, look, be happy who you are, be happy. Mm-hmm. And all that. But I've still yet got to do that with me, um, yeah. which I've worked on because I'm, I'm getting there and I've, I'm, I'm working on the idea of being self-aware and being able to say, hold on, what are you doing, Phil? You know, like just chill mm-hmm. out and, and taking people's advice, like, you know, the stuff you're saying and the, the stuff that you've put on Instagram. Like, so I've still got a, a little bit of t- mm-hmm. a way to go in, in accepting it for me. Um, but I think, again, I feel like I want to say it's harder for a man. I know it's not. I know it's exactly yeah. the same for a man as it is for a woman. Um, mm-hmm. but I'm still stuck in that old fashioned, like, uh, you know, I don't fully believe that I need to be super skinny and muscly and all that type of stuff. No, yeah. But I'm still of the belief where I have to be something that other people accept mm-hmm. um, as opposed to just being something that I accept, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and I guess you've probably gone on that yourself over the last oh, you know, God, 12, yeah. 18 months. I think that the, the the words that people use, especially now online, can have such a massive impact on people. Um, so it's nice to open Instagram and kind of go through your um, your your in, your your feed and just see people being nice to each other and yeah. you know whether it's you know well done, Liz, or you look amazing, or what that must be amazing for you to have so mm-hmm. much positivity around what you're doing. Do you think? Um, it's going to be a long road, not necessarily for you, because I think from what you've said, it sounds like you're pretty much, you've got this nailed, you know, whether it's like off from Instagram. Yeah. Like personally, mm-hmm. you've got this nailed. Do you think it's going to be a while before a wider society accepts uh, the whole body positivity movement? Yeah, I think so. When I've come back, when I've, because like I said before, I've followed these pages for so long. Um, for years in fact I think from well a good few years not uh, not all of them just odd, the odd occasional one and um, like big big influencers on Instagram and they they used to say I used to say in the on the Daily Mail and things like that it's promoting obesity and blah 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 so I used to say but now I don't I don't say that as much and I say yeah. that it has come on a long way from then um, can you remember when they were all kicking off because it was a Victoria's Secret or someone done a catwalk model who was a plus size? Yes, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And everyone was kicking off, saying it's promoting obesity. Now everyone's like, where's the plus size version of it? So it is coming yeah. along that far. But yeah, no, Liz, I could, I could, I could talk to you all day long. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. It's been enlightening and, and hopefully someone whether it's one person or you know is, is seeing yeah. this and, and and decide or is deciding to to take some positive steps to to think differently about themselves and be a little bit yeah. more uh, confident um is for anyone who's wanting to uh to follow you and your journey on instagram um where do they go what's the handle it is thick lizzie with two c's um lizzie with a y with an underscore at the end just like the band lizzie. thin lizzie yes. <laughs> Um, no, Liz, honestly, it's been an absolute pleasure. It's been lovely to catch up. Uh, hopefully, we'll get to do it in, in person in the, in the not too distant future. Have a great weekend, um, and we'll uh, we'll speak to you very soon. Yeah, thanks for having us, Phil.